Hello and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre and today I'm talking about my top tips for making any day a better day. I've been missing just for a week, not really a long time, but it's just been really hot and just humid here in Melbourne and it's not like us. This is not not normal sort of January weather in Melbourne. It's normally drier than this. Now I'm not arguing about it. We're not having bushfires. There's an upside to humidity, but Having said that, it's just wiped out sleep. In fact, last night it was the first cooler night that we'd had. A night sometimes been around about 25 degrees Celsius, which is too hot for sleeping for me. Uh, even with fans and oh, I don't want to run the aircon at night, it's noisy, you know. Anyway, so that's my little grumble out of the way. The thing was, um, it must have been, was it Friday? Was it yesterday? God, okay, see, I told you my brain is dying. I just felt really, really ill. And I don't know if it was because I had some sort of 24-hour summer flu or if it was just the lack of sleep and the heat just got to me. And either way, I just felt dreadful all morning. About 3 o'clock, I started to feel a lot better and I thought, oh, I can't stand a wasted day. And I know it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's not exactly night time, the day's not over. That's the point. I decided I just needed to get something done and I had a task that I was waiting for. I've been waiting for um, a new loo roll holder to be delivered. I mean, really exciting stuff this. But, you know, it's just a little task. I wanted to swap out the one that wasn't working, uh, that had broken and put in the new one. And so I thought, right, I'll just do that. So I got it done. And in doing it, I felt, hmm, okay, a lot better. And I started to sort of go on with a few other things. One of them being that I've just pre got started prepping that room for room. It's a it's a toilet uh, for painting it, which has been waiting for for ages. But I've been waiting for the loo roll holder, and I didn't know if I could put it in the same holes. You know what I mean? Mounting it on the wall because these walls are solid brick, so it's not an easy thing. And then after that, I thought, okay. Then I put up uh, a picture that had been waiting for me to drill into these incredibly solid walls for um, a long time, shall we say? So that got done. And about then, I thought, aha. Uh -huh, this makes you feel better. So I made some notes and this is the how sort of tips to make any day better. So if you like this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe if you're new, give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like productivity and pull yourself out of a rut sort of things because I can always make more of those and uh, yeah and I'll go through them. Now what I've done is I've sort of divided them up into sort of four groups okay so the first group it's all the productivity things, the things that you can do. So the first one is make your bed. And I know everybody says this, but they say it because it's true. If you make your bed, you suddenly feel better. Even if you've been feeling miserable and lying in it, if you get enough energy to get up and make it, at least if you have to go back to it, you're going back to a nicely made bed. If you're not feeling, you know, if you're really feeling unwell, at least it's made and you'll feel better getting back into it. That's the thing. If you make your bed, it's a great start. And then, especially if you haven't been feeling well, look around your bedroom and you think, right, I'll tidy my bedroom. So you, you clear the clutter on your bedside table and you wipe it down. And you go, right, dusted that, wiped it down. And you know, we're not talking deep clean here. We're talking a bit of a quick tidy up on the chest of drawers or whatever, wipe the top, clear the top, put things away if you've got folded things, re this is me, folded things waiting to go into the drawers, put them away. If you've got stuff on the floor, shoes that need to be put away, clothes, whatever, if they're clean, pick them up, fold them, hang them up, whatever. Whatever's you know, sitting on that chair, is it clean? Does it need to be going into the laundry? Whatever, pick it up, fold it, put it out to the laundry. And suddenly you've got a nicely clear bedroom. I'm not saying it's scrubbed, I'm just saying it's clean, it's clear, it's so much better. If you've got the energy, just run your little stick vacuum around. That's why I have a stick vacuum, because it's so much easier than hauling out a bigger one. Then the next step would be to get that laundry that you just grabbed out of your room and put a load of laundry on, just one load. You're already on the way. When it stops, you put it in the dryer or you put it out to dry. Suddenly you're two steps ahead, and these are not big things. You can stop and have a break in between if you need to, that's fine too. But just do some of these really small productive things and you think, oh, I'm getting some things done. Um, what's another one? Oh yeah, choose a really irritating hotspot. You know, the one that annoys you the most. It might be where you walk in and you put things down on a table 
or it might be your kitchen counter if you just sort of automatically dump things on your kitchen counter you know the, the post or your bag and those things you mean to get fixed or whatever just pick it up just one corner even pick up your kitchen counter and or your hall table or whatever it is if it's your kitchen that's really the most irritating then it's the old story deal with the dishes however you want to put them in the dishwasher or wash them dry them put them away complete the cycle if there are dishes in the dishwasher that are dry put them out put them away put another load in complete the cycle finish each cycle of things and then suddenly you know you're really starting to get ahead so at this point you might have a made room a made bed a tidy bedroom load of laundry on and at least part of your kitchen counter clear you know wipe out your wash out your sink you do not have to soak your sink in bleach you just give it a squirt of your dishwashing liquid rub it around with your sponge or your cloth or whatever you use rinse it out and you're done it's clean it's tidy you you're two you're three steps ahead three steps ahead already it's one of those things that if you get something done you feel better all over and at least if you're not well and you've tidied up a bit your home's a bit nicer to be in okay second lot of groups so that's three things you can do under the do this one is take a break if you're feeling a bit better take a break from yourself i know there's nothing worse than when that person is your worst enemy Ch -ch 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 -ch. i don't feel well it's too hot sorry this is me take a break go outside have a walk get some fresh air walk down to your post box walk out into your garden walk back again maybe that's all you can do if you can do a bit more and you're in a cold environment put on your scarf and your nice non-slip boots and get out there and breathe some of the fresh air even if it's just five minutes out and five minutes back you will feel like a different person for me it's a matter of putting on a hat sunscreen <laughs> taking a water bottle <laughs> You have to pace your, your walks at the moment uh, here because it's been so hot. But morning, evening, beautiful day, time for walking. But, uh, oh, another one is to uh, just listen to some music. Um, but, you know, put on some music that you like. Put them on your earphones. Just um, do anything you, you like. If you can play music quite loudly in your home without irritating neighbours or the rest of the family, do that. And, of course, the next phase above that, once you put on some music, is to sing loudly with it. I'm not suggesting you probably should do this while you're walking along the street, but anywhere else, you're fine. In the shower, in the car, in your kitchen. Kitchens are for dancing. And just enjoy it. And, you know, the old dance like nobody's watching. And if somebody's watching, give them a smile and a wave and keep on going. Because, well, not if you're in the shower. Pull down the blind if you're in the shower. If somebody's waving to you in the shower, it could be awkward. So, yeah, but just take a break from the chatter in your own head and... Fill it up with something else, fill it up with some nature, fill it up with some music, fill it up with some movement and some laughter and some a bit of fun. Apart from that, pulling the blind down in the, you know, if you're dancing in the shower, probably not a good idea to dance in the shower either. That could lead to a fall, don't want to encourage that, no. Okay, third group of things is called give. So you've had do, you've had um, take, and now this one's give. Give yourself a mini spa. You know, put on the face mask. If you don't feel like going out, you know, put on a face mask. Clean, your, you know, give yourself a nice little skin moment. I'm a skincare junkie. One might say I started a little late, but hey, I grew up in the sun. What can I say? But yeah, give yourself a little mini break. Put a mask on your hair. I'm assuming it's my girlfriends out there. But look, um, I'm not going to complain if the men want to treat themselves to this. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I think it's lovely if men look after themselves. So don't don't feel like you're being cut out i'm saying this is something we can all do look after your hair look after your skin give yourself a mani pedi um you know do those little things that you just you can do without a great effort if you're not feeling great at the end of it you will feel fresh and revived and a lot better and your whole day will lift give yourself a present if you're up and about you're just not feeling particularly great but you've had to pop up to the shops or you're at work and you're got a break in the middle of the day buy yourself a present it doesn't have to be expensive buy yourself a little plant for your desk or some flowers or that book that you really have wanted to buy you know that coffee table book um, or just the next book that you want to read because reading is a great way to take a break from your own chatter as well it doesn't have to be big it can be um, a magazine it can be a candle it can be anything it can be both 
but just a little thing that can say, hey, I'm taking care of you. This is a nice thing. Um, what's the other one? Oh, yes. Now, this one, um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. This one is from Brene Brown. You know, Brene Brown and her wonderful books on being brave and being a leader and all of Oh, she's just great. So I was, um, what was I, which one of hers was I reading? Braving the Wilderness. And one of the things she said was that she was about to be interviewed by Oprah and she was really so wound up by the excitement of it all that she wasn't going to enjoy it at all. And at the same time, her daughter said, oh, have you signed the permission slip for school for the outing? So it made her think, I need to give myself permission to just relax and have fun. I need a permission slip. And so she literally writes out permission slips for herself and leaves sticky notes on around the house. But I think it's a great idea. Give yourself permission to have fun. Give yourself permission to say no to something you really don't want to do. I mean, life and death stuff, you know, side, obviously. But, you know, if you've agreed to do something that you really don't want to do, or if you, I know you're going to be asked to do something you really don't want to do, whatever, just say no. Just don't, you know, say no thank you. Be polite, be kind, but give yourself permission to say no. Also give yourself permission to say yes to something that you would love to do. So maybe go to a movie that you want to see but nobody else is really interested in. Give yourself permission to just go and enjoy it. Give yourself permission. And I think that is the best idea out there. And with that, I come to the last one, which is to be kind. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself like you're your best friend. So if, you, if your best friend had been feeling a bit down, you wouldn't say to her, come on, just snap out of it and just get on with it. You would say, oh, you poor thing. Okay, I'll make you a cup of tea. Would you like a tea? Would you like a coffee? Would you like a herbal tea? And would you like me to keep you company on a walk? Would you like me to find a movie on Netflix that you might enjoy? Anything. You would be kind. So be kind to yourself. And the other thing is that, I think it was Gretchen Rubin said this. She said the other way to make sure that you're being kind to yourself, and this is a way to make your day better, is to say, to think of yourself in the third person. Like, she thinks of herself as a child, like Gretchen gets hangry. If you don't feed Gretchen, she gets very upset and, you know, so she says to herself, don't expect Gretchen to do this. Gretchen gets hangry, you know, gets tired, Gretchen gets hungry. And it's so true. You think of yourself as a child. You wouldn't ask that of yourself. You wouldn't say, just push on through. You'd say, no, Deirdre needs to go to sleep. Deirdre needs to get somewhere that's cool. Deirdre needs to sit under the AC because, you know, it's been too hot. If you think of yourself as you would take care of a child, then your whole perspective shifts and your expectation of yourself shifts. You don't expect miracles from small children. Every now and again, just think of yourself as a small child and treat yourself accordingly. And I think that's a lovely idea. You know, it's sort of like milk and cookies can solve a myriad of problems. So those are my funny little wacky tips for making any day better if it's not going particularly well. And I think that if you do those things, that you come out the other end and nothing would have, there wouldn't have been a seismic shift. You know, we're not talking massive things here, but you will feel like your day hasn't been entirely wasted. You will feel a little better about yourself. So they're my little tips for making any day feel just a little bit better. And that, sometimes that's all you need. So it's been a fairly sort of quiet week, I'm not feeling great and the heat has not been the best. But I'm feeling just back to normal again now, which is really good. And um, hopefully it's not going to be quite so hot this coming week, so I've got a few things to do. I will take you along, I think maybe I will start doing regular vlogs for 2019. I know, I shouldn't say maybe, I should just commit, shouldn't I? I will do regular vlogging for 2019 and take you along through my day, which would be fun. And as I say, I've been going to just about to start painting in the bathroom and all of that. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So when I'm finished, I'll show you because it's really tough filming in there. Obviously, all you get is a backside view and you don't need that. And I don't need you to <laughs> see that. So it's not exactly uh, entertaining. So I will show you the bathroom when I'm finished and... Um, I might extend this thing that I'm intending to do out into the hallway and if I do that you might certainly be able to watch and see how I do it. Just a little bit of painting, a bit of interest along the way. And I think that's about it really. So 
like, subscribe, come along for the ride and I hope that whatever you're doing you're having a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye!